would it be? Well, actually, I, I think what we need to do is just keep doing what we're doing. I think growing an entrepreneurial ecosystem takes time. And I think that what we can do is to ingrain entrepreneurship in part of what we do every year. So I think what, what is now is not resting on, on any successes because I think we're a long way to go and we certainly can't get complacent. So the first thing we do is realize this needs to be part of what we do every year. Um, and basically we need to commit as a community to, to have the systems in place to identify entrepreneurs, install the systems to support, and install the systems to retain. I do think that there's an opportunity looking at our 300th year anniversary, uh, New Orleans' 300th year anniversary, 2018, to really set a, a community-wide goal that could New Orleans be a top 10 city for entrepreneurs in the world. And that may seem like a crazy idea, but there's a chance that we could be. So I think if we just set broader visions and broader opportunity, uh, I think, and we, we bring people engaged, we can achieve that goal. Uh, but lastly, I think a missing piece right now, which I am encouraged to see it, is not capital. I don't think capital is the issue as much as talent. What we're seeing is an influx of seasoned talent. And season, I mean by 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds coming with experience. They're mentoring these companies, investing in these companies, and scaling. We need talent here to scale these businesses. Without that talent, they may leave. So I think that's the next frontier of this movement. What type of talent? Are we talking about technology talent? Are we talking about business uh, acumen? Uh, what type of talent would you say we need the most of? I would say both. Certainly, we need uh, technology talent, but every community needs that. Uh, but talent of seasoned professionals that know how to scale businesses. So I think we have a great entrepreneurial community that can start a business and grow it to 50, 60, 100 people. But the talent to take a company with 100 people to bring it to 1,000, uh, that's a seasoned uh, management group, a seasoned sales group, a seasoned marketing group. Uh, it also takes a seasoned professional community of lawyers and bankers who know how to scale and also a seasoned group of, of, of people who know how to grow businesses. So I think where we have a, a great base of startups, of, of startup entrepreneurs, but when you start having companies like Receivables Exchange and Federated Sample and Naked Pizza and iSeats, those companies are now at a point where they're able to scale and they are starting to attract the talent to do that. Uh, and I think that's an opportunity. Uh, and Steve, what we're seeing, which really is, excites me the most, is people are moving to New Orleans. And, and I think the brain gain is a great thing. The young people moving are great. But we're seeing a seasoned brain game. We're seeing 40-somethings and 50-something-year-olds move here with their kids because they believe the school system is good. They believe New Orleans is a better place to live than New York and Boston. But they see the opportunity. And when we start attracting that talent base, you'll start to see some companies scale. It sounds really exciting. Sounds really exciting. Now, now, another really exciting thing, if I might say, is that upcoming is the Entrepreneurship Week. This is what, yep. the third year, fourth year? One more. This is the fifth. This oh, is fifth. the fifth. Wow. I've this never is, first. <laughs> uh, we all grew up. This is the fifth New Orleans Entrepreneur Week, which is the culmination of the entrepreneur season, and which starts in July and culminates in March. Uh, it will be March 16th to the 22nd. Uh, this year, we're moving it to Gallier Hall. Uh, they, we used to do it in the IP building where the Idea Village exists, but we moved it to IP building. I'm sorry, Gallier Hall, because we'll have over 10,000 square feet. Uh, we're going to be doing over 42 free sessions for local entrepreneurs. We have 4,875 seats or the capacity for people to attend these sessions. And so this year we're projecting about a thousand local entrepreneurs will be attending this week, uh, which is almost a double, over a double from last year. We're also bringing in uh, 16 of the leading national investors from uh, Texas Pacific Group, the Kleiner Perkins, to Trident, to Battery Revolution, uh, others who are coming to New Orleans to be looking at 16 local companies that are looking seeking capital. So everything is growing here, but the good news is you're seeing a, a local engagement as well as a national attention to what's happening in New Orleans. So, so what type of events or what events, type of programs uh, would y'all be having? Uh, uh, well, for entrepreneurs, uh, there's programming from how to raise money, how to negotiate deals. There's something called the Failure Fest where uh, successful entrepreneurs talk about their ups and downs. 
Uh, there's panelists from keynote speakers like uh, Walter Isaacson, uh, Jim Coulter, uh, 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 the guy, uh, 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 different different companies of, of, of successful entrepreneurs. We also have pitches uh, from uh, the Water Challenge, which is focusing on water driven entrepreneurship to the education challenge. We also have different pitches. The, the downtown development district is having their own pitch, the downtown development pitch. And there's a Cordina challenge based in Jefferson Parish. And there's also uh, a new challenge called In No Levation, uh, which is focusing on minority entrepreneurship. But it's feeling a little bit like Jazz Fest where there's multiple yeah, stages, yeah. multiple events. Um, but the good news is this is open and free to any local entrepreneurs. It's also uh, an opportunity for the community to engage and to see the entrepreneurial movement. We'll have to move the, uh, we'll the move Jazz the, uh, Fest dates to center dates around the entrepreneurship week. I mean, it, it is uh, becoming yeah, such is a is successful event. Successful I, mean, event. I mean, absolutely. So given given the fact, you know, think of the Jazz Fest, and, and before that, we had the French Quarter Fest. That brings a lot of people into town, and it, it, there's a, a feeling uh, that that people have about New Orleans when, when they are here. I'm just wondering, are y'all tapping into that when it's so hot? Well, yeah, the, the, the vision for the Idea Village and entrepreneur season and the week was really to drive the local economy, you know, really to, to drive, to engage a local community. And last year we spent a, a deeper effort of engaging more locals. Now this year, what was interesting to us, we have a group from Latvia, uh, 10 incubators from Latvia are coming to the world for entrepreneur week. There's a contingent from Israel coming into the week. There's also a, a group of 10 executive directors from Goldman Sachs coming into the week coming in during the week. So we're seeing people from around the world come to New Orleans to observe what we're doing and to learn. So if you were to ask me 12 years ago in the bar, you know, oh, we got to build something that the world will take notice. That really was not part of our mission. But I do see that New Orleans can be positioned as a model city for entrepreneurship innovation and how we have rebuilt the city through new thinking. So looking forward, you know, this year, we last year we had about 1,500 to 2,000 people attend the week. Uh, and the way we measure that is from the final day at Manning's where we had over 1,500 people wow. uh, in the final wow. event. This year we're projecting 3,000 people, um, uh, maybe five weather permitting that could come in, but let's say 3,000 people. We could make a vision that by 2018, could this week rival South by Southwest? You know, if we were to bring in the city's resources of music and food and, and broadcast this to the world, you know, why not by 2018 could this become a significant event for the city where the world will come to the world's entrepreneurship? Now, that's an idea. That's a vision. But I think that's something we could do and live up to if we put some work to it. Yeah. Yeah.